Let's look at another special file that Next.js provides in the app router, the template file. To understand template files better, we need to first look at a specific behavior of layouts. In our app router, we have an auth route group with a layout file that handles navigation between three links, register, login, and forgot password. In this layout, let's add an input element to collect some user data. First, we will import useState from React at the top, and within the layout component, we will include a state variable input with a setter function set input, and the initial value is an empty string. For the JSX, we will render an input element whose value is equal to the state variable input, and on change, we call the setter function e.target.value. The data we are collecting from this input element is not important. We just need some state in our component. Now let's check this in the browser. Navigate to slash register and we should see our auth layout. The input element might not be visible due to styling, but I can confirm it is there. I will type code evolution as test input. Now pay attention to what happens to this input value as we navigate from register route to the login route. Notice how the state is preserved. This happens because layouts only mount the new page content while keeping common elements intact. They don't remount shared components, which leads to better performance. Register, login, and forgot password are the new pages that are remounted when navigating between them. Whereas the input in the layout which is a shared component, is not remounted. This behavior works great for most cases. However, sometimes you might need the layout to create a fresh instance for each child component during navigation. This could be useful for scenarios like implementing enter or exit animations or running use effect hooks when routes change. This is where template files come in handy as an alternative to layout files. Templates are similar to layouts in that they are also UI shared between multiple pages in your application. The key difference is that whenever a user navigates between routes sharing a template, you get a completely fresh start. A new template component instance is mounted, DOM elements are recreated, state is cleared, and effects are resynchronized. You can create a template by exporting a default React component from a template.js or template.tsx file. Like layouts, templates need to accept a children prop to render the nested rod segments. To demo this, we simply need to rename our layout.tsx file to template.tsx. Back in the browser, if we type code evolution again and navigate to forgot password, you will see the state is reset. This is the significance of the template file in the app router. It is worth mentioning that you can actually use both layout.tsx and template.tsx files together. In this case, the layout renders first and then its children are replaced by template components output. Templates are not a common requirement and layouts should be your go-to for shared UI. However, if a need does arise for you to use templates, you now understand how to use them. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.